buddies. <laughs> consistent subscribers and consistent growth and views are great and awesome. It's kind of, it, I feel like it doesn't mean anything if no one's giving you feedback. I think that a video is successful when I have a lot of comments on it, even if there are maybe 50 views, but each person commented because the video affected them and made them happy, or there's something they didn't like that they want to give constructive <laughs> criticism. I feel like that's way more successful, way richer of a video. Um, than it would be to have a video that has thousands of views and like barely any comments. Communication would be the biggest way to find friends, purpose, and a community on YouTube. Whether it is asking a question on your video and ha you know striking up a conversation in the comment section, or if it's where you mostly use social media like Twitter, you don't have to do something every minute of every day, but if you have a consistent amount of communication that you do on your social media, it's a great way to strengthen your viewership and strengthen your community. See what they're sharing and respond on how that stuff makes you feel. It makes your bond a little tighter. It makes them feel so much better, so much more valued. I can honestly say that I have such a great friendship through YouTube. X, hey Charlie X, BG Gaming Pro, and Robo, or Somatis Mouse. Our friendship is so awesome, so amazing, and I've never met these people in my life. It's kind of like a hodgepodge of strangers meeting in a space that gave them the opportunity to share who they were, no matter how quirky or weird or goofy or silly we are, and it's meshed so perfectly so well. And those guys, I love those guys, I truly do. They're really awesome. It's helped me find my purpose, and I won't say necessarily find my purpose but embrace my purpose I've always wanted to help people I've always wanted to make them smile I always wanted to make people laugh that's part of the reason that I am so goofy and so silly because I know that what I'm about to do or what I'm about to say is gonna make somebody laugh and YouTube has given me such a platform where I can do whatever my mind creates or desires, whatever little crazy things come up in there. And I have this awesome team of support of official buddies, is which I, what I call the people that watch my channel, that are so helpful and so communicative, so strong. When I was out with my husband, when he, he was having surgery, I would get tweets and comments from official buddies that, that are asking me, hey, how are you doing? How is your husband doing? Like, just to check in on me and see how we were doing and it was the greatest thing to have these people that have never met me never met me they've just seen my face on their screen whatever they saw was enough for them to care Incredible. Oh. to be honest and i know this might sound a little cheesy but just by being me because there are very few young black female goofy silly gamers in the space when i started watching youtube and i would see like the people that are really big on youtube you've got pewdiepie markiplier you've got dashy you've got you know um jacksepticeye highly male field there are few female gamers and there are fewer black female gamers i find that me being myself because i'm goofy i'm silly i'm horribly bad at gaming. I was always the oddball. I was always different. Growing up, out, uh, growing up, my friends always thought I was goofy, always thought I was weird. So embracing who I am to my core. And I know that there are people that will see me and be like, well, if she could do it, I could definitely do this. It's really awesome to have that opportunity to share that with the world. You have no idea how much this has already changed my life.